cranial nerves 9 and 10. These two nerves are clinically lumped together. Motor-wise, they innervate pharyngeal and laryngeal muscles. Their sensory component is sensation for the pharynx and taste for the posterior one-third of the tongue. In clinically assessing 9 and 10 function, it's important to test both voluntary and non-voluntary or reflex activity. Voluntary action can be observed as the patient says ah or ka. Non-voluntary or reflex action is observed with the gag reflex, which is both a sensory and a motor limb to the reflex. Patients with bilateral lower motor neuron lesions have both absent voluntary and reflex activity. Patients with bilateral upper motor neuron weakness or dysfunction will lack voluntary movement of the palate but will have the reflex gag or even a hyperactive gag reflex, just like a hyperactive deep tendon reflex with upper motor neuron disease. This is how a bulbar or a lower motor neuron palsy is sorted out from a pseudobulbar or an upper motor neuron palsy. For upper motor neuron disease to cause palatal weakness, it must be bilateral because there's bilateral upper motor neuron innervation for each of the nuclei ambiguous. Unilateral lower motor neuron or nerve weakness causes less elevation of the palate on the side of the lesion with deviation of the uvula to the high arched normal side.